match first referee Daniel Palada. Second referee is Bobby Sellis. And now let's meet the starters first for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Outside spiker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number two, team captain, happy birthday, Eliza Valdez. Middle blocker from the National University, number five, Risa Sato. Center from Ateneo, number 12, Gia de Guzman. Middle blocker from the Far Eastern University, number 13, Seth Domingo. Opposite hitter from the University of the Philippines, number 18, Tots Carlos. Outside spiker from Adamson University, number 23, Gemma Galanza. Starting liberal from FEU, number 11, Kyla Atienza. Head coach for Creamline is Sherwin Meneses. And now let's beat the starters for the debuting Jerf Floor Defenders. Outside spiker from the College of St. Vanille, number one, Janine Navarro. Middle blogger from Arellano University, number four, Andrea Marzan. Middle blogger from CSB, number 12, Rania Musa. Outside spiker from the University of the Philippines, number 13, team captain, Justine Dorog. Center from Adamson University, number 17, Fen Emnas. Opposite hitter from UP, number 25, Aliza Bertolano. Starting liberal is number 19 from Lyceum of the Philippines University, Pia Sarmiento. The head coach for Jerf Floor is Edgar Barroga. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Kings and Amusements Board. It is Creamline versus Jerk Floor. Here this are your is the PBL. Start a new way no. to watch the PBL via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos a month. Eliza Valdez turning 30 today. And this is the starting lineup for the Cool Smashers. 24 points for Tots Carlos in their last game. Galanza with 12, two players in double digits. That's going to be a formidable matchup against any team, more especially for this debuting Rookie team in the PBL, Jerk Floor Defenders. Uh, they have a bunch of very familiar names. Uh, Justin Dora was a former pro. Uh, Rania Musa was a former pro. So we'll see what they can do here as they, uh, they make the debut. And right away, Carlos making her presence felt. Well, again, we mentioned in the free game, Don Carlos just, you know, in that first game, just went back to work like there was no break whatsoever <laughs> dropping 24 points and you know for us for her fans a lot of people were saying it's how comfortable she looks yeah. inside right now well uh, justin donald seems like it was just yesterday when she was here in the pbl well you know you'll see the player movements because it's very important to actually play well wherever uh -huh. you are whether it's in this league right in the uaap or whatever league that you get to play because you will get the chance when if you do your thing Eliza Valdez, three points, just three points. But it's not that easy for yeah. a player coming off an injury. We That's have true. to say, and she had a surgery. She had a knee thing, not ACL, but she had a knee thing. So she's get, trying to get back into tip-top form. So for her fans, be patient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but take a look at the defenders as Andrea Marsan with the middle hit. What a set, by the way, from Fen Emnas. Uh, they are keeping toe-to-toe. -to -toe with the defending champions here in the opening set. Valdez down the line, yes! Let's check in with Rain Tixon. Of course, we keep saying that the Jerk Floor defenders are a new team, but there are a lot of familiar faces, and that's because a lot of the players have already had experience in the PVL or playing in other leagues. Now, when I asked about the team, senior setter Ivy Perez said that the veterans have an eagerness to play again, and her exact phrasing was, oh, how sila maglaro ulit. Justin Dorog, team captain, 
said that this group of players have something to prove. And she even said that their hiatus from the league or the volleyball scene does not make them any less of a player since they've already be been given a chance. They really want to make the most out of it. And let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better through the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now back to you, Eric and Noreen. All right, thanks very much, Rain. Janine Navarro with a point, her first in the tournament. Oh, the dig. Sarmiento sets it up for Bertolano. Cut shot picked up by Valdez de Guzman. With a one-two play. You know what makes that so effective is she doesn't go to that all the time. So you, you know, the opponents have to keep guessing when will Gia de Guzman try to get one over us. De Guzman, aside from these 16 excellent sets, she had one point for the Cool Smashers against the crossovers. Valdez with a nice serve, overpass, picked up by Ella de Jesus. Galanza dug by Rania Musa. Uh, Navarro will give it up overhand. That did not cross the net, it seems, yeah. So an attack error from Seth Domingo. Ties the game at four. I hear the buzzer though. I think a challenge. <laughs> and there you go. Very early challenge here. So the score has not changed yet because of the challenge by the Cool Smashers. Well, in real time, Eric, for us, it looked like she buried that into the net. Yeah. But again, because how quick the, the plays are, you know, Coach Sherwin doesn't want to take any chances. But. Uh, First impressions to read of the defenders with 7.16 so far here in the opening set. You're very, I'm sure. I mean, you, sh you should be very impressed with the way they're playing. They're a new team. Players from different yeah. organizations, one from college uh, in Eliza Bertolano, and then you see Navarro, Borog, Musa. And you mentioned a lot of them have been have played already in the PVL, so. Again, it is Coach Baroga's job to actually tie them all together and make them a cohesive unit. So far, they're keeping in step with the defending champions. Mm -hmm. That's what's important. Yeah. You know, it's how, how they play, whether or not they're going to lose this, this match or this set. It's how they play. They, they just follow the game plan of Coach Baroga. Eliza Valdez top scoring for Cool Smashers right now with two points. The Guzman has one off a of one to play, and then Tots Carlos with the first point of the match. Meanwhile, all the three points of the defenders have come from attacks. One from Navarro, Marzan, and Justin Doro. The, the names you expect to deliver so far have scored for Jerflor. And see the hit by Seth Domingo here. Oh. Does it bounce off the arms, though? That's the question. Oops. This angle doesn't really give us that. It looked like it touched what, the, the right arm. The right arm? Well, let's see. Oh, no. no. Okay. So a, an unsuccessful challenge here. I'm wondering why that was the angle uh, chosen, exactly. right? We have at least 20-plus cameras around the court for the challenge system. Uh, and Coach Minessa is saying, Echoing your thoughts, like it looked like it bounced <laughs> off the arm. That's just, that's what he's saying. Well, the call stays. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> move forward. It's a tied game. Tampolano. Nice pass by Atienza. Here comes Galanza. Rejected by Rania Musa. And the defenders take the lead for the first time in the match. But they're showing us their defensive prowess there. Musa, we've watched her in college yeah. and uh, even some games in the, in the pros. That's right. She played in the pros, right? Mm -hmm. So we know what she can do. Defending is one of them. Former CSB Blazer, that's an overpass. Atienza with coverage. Chance ball here, second one for the defenders. Doro, Whoa. yes! Two point lead for the defenders. Boy, I mean, if you follow the career of Justin Dorog, she's been around, but yeah. not much playing time. And look at this. She's just a renewed, you know, reborn player <laughs> with just that hit alone. Three to nothing run by the defenders. Stop on its tracks by San Domingo, who makes up for the error earlier. Familiar sight, you know that 
Te Guzman's gonna go back yeah. to said Domingo. She loves, if she gets the opportunity, she likes going back to her middles. So yeah, I mean, said Domingo makes up for that error. Six points, said Domingo, and two blocks. In their first game, the win against the crossovers, back row for in a battle. De Guzman sets it up. Lisa Sato starting in place of Pam Spanaga today. Overpass. Ooh, yeah, overpass. Radia Musa again puts it away. That's the second point for Radia Musa. Well, she's playing well oh, here yeah. for the Jeff Floor defenders. You know, that's what you like about the, the, the young Jeff Floor defenders because they have tall players. Not everyone's tall, but the, they have a lot of tall players, and they're using that when they're in front. Marzan is 5'11", Rania Musa is 5'11", as well. So you're right, very, very tall lineup as Galanza uses the length of the defenders to her advantage. She's playing it smart, you know. And she knew it wasn't the best of sets, but what does she do? I'm gonna make do with what I have, and I'm just gonna brush it off the blockers. One point game, six serving seven. The eight time PVL best setter and three-time finals MVP, Gio de Guzman. Justin Doro on a running attack, picked up by de Guzman. Sato sets it up on off-speed from Tots Carlos Sarmiento to Doro. Off-speed herself, picked up by Galanza. Carlos follows oh. one in and scores. going up against each other and uh, Tots Carlos just finding a way. One blocker for Tots Carlos, oh, I not, mean. Not enough. Not enough. It's a tight game. Tots Carlos with two points, seven all. Oh, bad reception there from Elisa Castellano. And it's a three-point run for the close matchers to take us to our first technical timeout there. Up by one, eight, seven, opening set. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Beautiful shot of our venue, Phil Oil Echo Oil Center here in San Juan. First game of your triple header, Pao Soriano, Phil Kainglet Caetano, uh, not in the lineup today. They were on uh, opening, game, uh, opening day. We'll see a lot of that, you know, a lot of uh, shuffling yeah. of players. Whether or not they actually get to play that game. Three-point run for the Cool Smashers. Uh, finally, a better reception from Bertolano. Justin Dorog down the line, picked up by De Guzman. De Jesus sets it up for Carlos. Oh. Yes, that's Carlos. Going down the line this time. You know, I mean, watch the blockers. That's what uh, Jerry Floor, they have to do. They have to adjust their defensive pattern. Four unanswered points for the Cool Smashers. They lead by two. Marzan, yes! Great set there by M. Nas, but you gotta give credit to Bertolano. That was a perfect, nearly yeah. perfect, if not a perfect pass. After a, a passing error, Two great passes off two good serves by the Guzman. Former Lady Falcon, Fen Emnas. Not a good pass there. That's going to go outside. A rare, erroneous second touch mm. from the Guzman. You like the response of Jer Flora yeah. after you said the four to nothing run by Cream Line. Now they tie the game. They counter with a two to nothing run here. Mm -hmm. Errors for the Cool Smashers here. This is a three to nothing run right now for the defenders. 
But we did mention Fen M. Nas, a veteran setter. Oh, yeah. She knows, you know. That's how you, you out psych your opponent to serve it back to the person. Oh, almost another ace. And this was against actually a different uh, receiver. Sarmiento passes Marzan. Much better defense by Valdez that time. Ooh, good what a dig from Bertonano. Chance ball for the Cool Smashers. Valdez picking it up to Guzman to the middle. Who's a soccer? One handed dig from Bertonano. What a save for Mendes. Chance ball for the Cool Smashers. In play. Carlos. Ah! Bang! What? You know that was a perfect set. Really, as defense tr was still scrambling for Jer Floor. Normally, people give it to the quick. What the Guzman did was a quick. Not quick, but a fast set to Carlos who goes cross court. Look at that. Four points already for Tots Carlos. We're tied at 10. What a thrilling opening set. It's a great set. And first game for the defenders as the battle gets it into the net, giving the Cool Smashers the lead. Well, you know, for me, aside from the skills, I mean, we talked about the players of Jer Floor defenders. We know these are great players but aside from skills it's really them trying to you know make a comeback a lot of them trying to make a comeback in their pro career so emotionally you know, they have more to give for the defenders a miscue there between Emnas and Marzan coach Baroga pacing the sidelines Two-point lead for the cool smashers. They keep targeting Bertolano, and she keeps struggling with the reception. Valdez with a tip, Van Emnas picking it up. Sarmiento will set it. Here comes Navarro. Carlos, she has four. Sarmiento right there for the dig. Back row, Bertolano, off speed, picked up by Valdez. Long rally. Blocked by Marzan against Sato. Longest rally so far, Valdez. Oh, wow. She swept it across her body using her right hand and the back of her fist. Still made it. I mean, that's how great she is. How creative. Not the best of sets, but she's able to score. And look at her reaction after that. That's, that's what you call a birthday shot. <laughs> yeah. Bertolano, much better pass. Oh, combination play. Oh. Return to center. Folks, Carlos with a kill block. This is the biggest lead for the Cool Smashers. Parang play one tayo ha, parang play one. Back quick ka. Ha? Dito ka pumatong. Ha? In between ha? Sa harapan ni Emnas. Okay? Uh, punta ka rito ha, kumuha ka rin ng bola rito. Kuhanan mo ha, kaya mo yan. Dalawa kayo dyan ha. Uh -huh. oh, sige, sige. Side out lang tayo, go. So, pasa muna, pasa. Punta ka gagay sa third floor. Now, you just saw the softer style of coaching that Coach Baroga <laughs> talked about uh, with the media uh, because when he was asked the differences in coaching style because right now he's also the, currently the coach of the NU boys volleyball team. He's much harder there, he's much softer here. What he said. It's a five to nothing run here for Galanza and the Cool Smashers. They're up by four. Opening set. Yeah, you know, coaches also have to adapt to <laughs> their team. The ones. of Katmon Cebu, younger sister, playing for the Farm Fresh Foxies. Yes! Carlos, there's a net touch as well against the defenders. It's Carlos. These middle attacks are working mm -hmm. for the defenders here in the opening set, Noreen. If Jeff Lor can defend better, you know, go more to their middles, that is an advantage. Marzan, Navarro, Musa, they've been effective so far here in the opening set. They are the top scorers. Marzan has three, Musa has two, Navarro has two. 
Oh, misstep there, and another put away by Janine Navarro, who's 5'10". So there's always somebody close to six feet in front, <laughs> at least two. Right now it's Musa and Navarro. It's, it's actually pretty balanced. You have three tall players. Yeah. He did mention, no, Marzan, Musa, Navarro. And there it is again. <laughs> Rania Musa with her third point. And then it's good that they're taking, well, I mean, good advantage yeah. when they're in front. And you mentioned a couple of points already. Manning the net. Coach Sherwin Vanessas, in the back of his head, he's probably thinking, no more overpasses, yeah. please. It's a one-point game. The service ace by Adria Marzan. And that four-point lead on the Cool Smashers has been erased. Five to one run by the defenders. Well, they are using their serves to their advantage. Marzan just changing things up, you know. This one, a short serve, using her head, reading her opponents. Two aces for the defenders, only one ace for the Cool Smashers. Carlos. That looked a little low. But she still hit him the baseline. When you need a point, you go to Tux. Second time for the timeout. One point lead for the defending champions against the defenders. Tignan ang FIBA World Cup 2023 sa Signal Pay-Per-View. Mag-avail ng early bird offers sa halagang 550 pesos until July 15 para mapanood ang lahat ng games commercial-free and in high definition at pwede pang manalo ng authentic Gilas Pilipinas merchandise. Carlos once again. Oh, Carlos keeps finding ways to score. Eight points already and we're just in set number one. Fair floor defenders, no answer for Tots Carlos. So, you know, why not go to her? Because wherever she is, really, she is so effective. 17 serving 15. Good pass by Bertolano. She gets it back. Dub by Galanza. Valdez, Van Emnas with the first touch. Sarmiento will have to set it. Bertolano once again. Galanza picks it up. Valdez blocked by Navarro. Valdez blocked again. Going to be a chance ball here for the defenders. Nice pass. Oh, two bigs. Hesitated. And nobody went after the third touch. Three. Wasted opportunity for me. I mean, great defense on the side of Jer Floor. But when it came to converting into a point, a miscue. You know, these are the things they will learn and they will improve on. You, you, you will allow it. I mean, this is their first game. But imagine if they can improve on those. That's outside. To the relief of the defenders. It's a two-point game as Shannon Palin, Naivi Perez see action for the first time under a Jerfloor team. Ivy Perez from National University, formerly played with the Lady Troopers yeah. and wants to be the next Dina Salak. Well, she is a tall setter and a lefty at that. 16 serving, 18. Opening set. Galanza, not a good pass. Another block against Seth Domingo. Over. Oh, Off-speed hit right there for Galanza. Shannon Palik hits it. De Guzman out to Valdez. Yes! And now, now a better angle for Eliza Valdez eluding the blockers there. Remember the previous play she has been checked, but this time finding that seam in the, the blockers. But you have to notice where 
the Guzman set the ball. It was almost right at the pin. Yeah. She had to really hit it from outside just to find that opening for Valdez, who now has four points. Palek hits it. Picked up by Valdez. Galanza. One-handed dig for Samieto. Palek again. Outside. And looking for a check ball. There's going to be a quick challenge here. Palek is so sure of herself. I heard it also from Coach Maroga. But we got to say great defense on the side of Jer Floor. Good digging. And great timing. Great coordination. Blocking as well yeah. for the defenders. Those are some of the things they've been doing well so far here in the opening set. Pretty impressive start. I mean, pretty impressive first set for me. Again, a mix of players, but now they look like they've been playing together for quite some time. You can say the same for the Farm Fresh Foxies as well. They went the distance with the cargo movers last Tuesday. Yeah. Except for the third set, there's, they reached 20 plus points per set. So that speaks a lot about them in their first game in the PBL. Now, we just have to wait and see what the uh, uh, Photon Tornadoes do later on. But right now, I mean, if this first set is any indication, these jerk floor defenders uh, already have a, a little bit of chemistry. Yeah, I, I mean, they, again, they look like they've been playing together for a while. It's close. But no but cigars. No cigar, it seems. No block touch. So both teams with one used challenge already, one unsuccessful challenge. Now back to a four point lead for the Colts Smashers. Score is 20 16 opening set. Well, for Cream Line, what we can see is Gemma Galanza a bit quiet here, not much sets. So we've watched a lot of games and we expect more sets to her. Finally, set the lead up the next one. against the defense of the defenders, but this time around, goes around by Musa. Second time out now for Coach Paroga, will listen in. No more timeouts remaining for the defenders. And this is the biggest deficit against them at five points. Justin Dorog, the veteran, Ranya Musa as well. They will have to steady this team and try to mount a run. They've shown us they can come up with five unanswered points, five straight points, a five-point run, so to speak. They have to do it again yes. in order to over to, to turn around this opening set. But we see Lonnie Bernardo uh, in the game for the first time in the tournament. She has she didn't see action in game number one. Yeah, Bernardo and uh, Negrito in. So I think they want to add more height in front. Talking about cream line. Perez to Palek. Picked up by Atienza, and Iglito sets it up to Galanza. Oh, that's gone. Oh. Well, we did anticipate <laughs> or predict that uh, the Guzman will go a lot to Gemma Galanza towards this end, end part of the first set, and Galanza did not disappoint. Good effort, though, by Sarmiento. Just the second point. Of Galanza, Valdez has four coming off a three point performance on opening day. Back row, Toro picked up by Sarmiento, but not high enough for a second touch. Another kill block for the Cool Smashers. A uh, good read there by the part of Seth Domingo and Al really covering the pipe and, you know, just getting that stuck block. Second kill block for Seth Domingo. She has three points. Cool Smashers two points away from winning the opening set. Great serves. Dactolano cross court, dug by Negrito. Bernardo working as an outside spiker. Galanza, that's too close to the pin. One handed dig for Perez. Bertolano with a push. 
Chance ball for the defenders. Let's see if they can answer here. Pushed by Musa. Valdez <laughs> keeping it alive. Another chance ball. How many chances? Tartolano. There's your answer. <laughs> Just two. <laughs> I mean, Bertolana smart using the blockers or advantage. You know, the, the tap on the, the hands that caught the defense of Creamline off guard. Bertolano, that's her first point. Out of Talisay City, Negros Occidental. Only played two seasons with the Lady Fighting Maroons. Oh, what a serve. Bernardo. Negrito back to Lori Bernardo. A standing spike. We rarely see Shannon Palek blocked by Domingo. Perez goes out to Doro. Cross court is wide. And this is going to be seven. Set points. Right, wait a minute, there's a challenge. So we, we're going to have to scrub that point off for now. They have one more challenge remaining. Well, Coach Baroga was standing right in front of us. That's how we knew <laughs> there's going to be a stoppage here. <laughs> the second referee, Bob Rizalso, reminding the Jer Floor defenders of the protocol. <laughs> Use press the buzzer first. And and then <laughs> the first time they challenged, they were busy. Well, I'm familiar, I guess, with the cards. They were busy looking for what card to pick up when they had it in the first place, uh, the block touch. But they're trying to get themselves a bit familiar. That's clearly no touch here. Yeah. Oh, so no more challenges remaining on the side of Jair Floor defenders. But you know, that should be part of their training. Talk about Jair Floor. The coaching staff, they have to practice yeah. pressing the buzzer and the challenges and bringing out the card. The card, the proper card. In the good of uh, all of one second. <laughs> they should have a drill for that, they right? They have to have the drill. A practice, uh, they have to practice on that. Sarmiento, this is going to be a free ball from the defenders. Negrito and company can put it away here. Not just yet. Berto Lano with the dig. Doro off speed. Oh, and they're still alive. One set point save. There are six more for the Cool Smashers. Well, Justin Doro showing us that she's the veteran of this squad. She is the captain, the yeah. team captain. When you look at her shots here so far in the first set, they're strong shots. Trying to read the opponent's defense. So she's trying to lead by example here for her team. Served by Rania Musa. Bernardo. And that's it. <laughs> Carlos back scoring for the Colts Madras with eight. It is Andrea Marzan with four for the defenders. Opening set going to the Colts Smashers 25-18 against the defenders. New streaming experiences also wait via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. 2518 Cool Smashers over the defenders. Uh, Creamline looking for their second straight win. Meanwhile, Jer Floor looking for their first win. This is their debut in the Premier Volleyball League. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Yeah, what a debut for me for Jerk Defenders. I mean, 
they gave Cream Line some, you know, they challenged Cream Line, blocked some shots, defended well. So for a new team, I like where they are. I like the standards that they're setting for themselves. It's not a walk in the park for Cream Line, and that's what you want. Cream Line is the defending champion. So from here, Jeff Clark can only build on their program, but they're looking good so far. If you look, so, look at the numbers in terms of attacks, Cream Line ahead by 5, 17 to 12, blocking, went their way by one aces. We talked about the great serves of Marzan that time when they tied it at 9, but 3 to 1. Opponents' errors, what, 2 for Cream Line? That's huge already for Cream Line. <laughs> no, we always say that because they're a team who tends to commit a lot a of lot. errors. That's true. So maybe in the off season, that's what they corrected. So you can see. Two, which is huge already for Cream Line, five for Jer Floor, but as a whole, Cream Line just knows when to set it to whoever, <laughs> to anyone actually. I mean, Gia de Guzman playing well, everyone playing well, but focus really on Jer Floor because they're a new team. Yeah. Great start. That's but all I can say. They are on a, on the business end of a 10 to 3 run by the Cool Smashers to end the first set. So they've got to avoid allowing cream line on these major runs there yeah. were four point runs five point runs and then that 10 to 3 run for the cool smashers if they manage that and reduce some of their errors they probably have a shot here in the second set another great thing about the defenders six players scored in the opening set mm. just as many as the cool smashers so you see the distribution you see how many players touch the ball and how they manage to get everybody involved All right and speaking of getting everyone involved look at the six of jer floor i mean they injected the uh, different names here we see the barrier starting right now uh, so they have this luxury with with a lot of good names a deep bench to find which chemistry will work for them but you're right you know i think it's a process really to try to make the right stops at the right time. Back-to-back -back aces for Gianni Guzman. That's the second one with a little help from the dead. Well, you know, Jer Floor, you have, as much as we said that, or as much as we like the way they played in the first set, they have to be careful not to let Creamline run away here in the second set because Creamline has the tendency, you know, if they start out strong, they're not going to look, look back. Man, is Guerra in the game for the first time. Oh, and no. Oh, boy, Tos Carlos. Unstoppable here. Nine points already. She sold that so well. Full approach. Looks like she's going for a strong hit. And then, look at this. Full approach. I'm uh, just going to drop it right there. 55% efficiency for Tots Carlos in their first game. The win against the crossovers. Doro sets it up. Oof. It'll be a free ball. The Guzman finds Galanza. Cut shot, no good. Let's check in with Rain Tixon. Something that we keep highlighting over and over again here in the Invitational Conference was all of the changes. But one thing that stayed the same all throughout the years is actually Ate Eliza Valdez playing in her birthday. Now, when I asked her if she likes this setup, she said definitely. Because it was one way of reminding her to be grateful both for the sport and all the opportunities it opened up for her and for the volleyball community that always supported her. She kept mentioning how she wouldn't be where she is without the sport and the community that loves her dearly. She's also very happy because she finally returned to the PVL and completed her first full game last Tuesday in their match against Cherry Eagle. So let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better through the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now back to you, Eric and Marie. All right, thank you, Rain. Don't you usually get a day off on your birthday? <laughs> That's usually the case, right? In a regular nine to five. Well, a lot of people like working on their birthdays. <laughs> I, I guess Eliza is no different. Well, she said, as Pops Carlos, now in double digits with Nick, Odessa, volleyball is her first love. So obviously, you know, whatever day it is, you come to play and uh, do what you love most. And, and we've known Eliza, I mean, through her career. I mean, she's 30. How many years have we followed her? 
every time it's her birthday, she likes to celebrate it with fans. We know that. So this year is no different. No different, that's right. 5-1 start for the Cool Smashers. Lisa Sato, dug by Doro. Rapa Aguilar rejected. Chance ball here for the Cool Smashers. Wait a minute. A crossing the mid-court violation against the defenders. She could have gotten away with it, probably, had she, like, moved her leg quicker. But it was like, oh, okay, <laughs> slow. And the entire heel was at the court of cream line. There's going to be a challenge here by Coach Baroga and his staff. Foot fault challenge, which I believe is going to be unsuccessful because we clearly saw yeah. uh, Esguera's foot cross the midcourt line. At least I will see a different angle of the camera. Well, if you're the defenders, after losing by seven in the opening set, this is not the kind of start you want in the second set. Immediately down by four, and Cool Smasher started off with two aces. Yeah, I mean, they have to work, work double time, obviously, on their first pass. It is a cliche. We, we always say that first ball, first pass. Yeah. But it's clear here in the second set that that's what's missing. Well, this new starting six as we take a look at Esquera sliding on her knees. Look at this. Trying to save the ball. Okay, and you thought she was clear then. then and then, yeah. There. When she <laughs> turned around, clearly uh, her entire foot over the uh, center line. So 6 1 for the Cool Smashers. Really uh, strong start yeah. for and Cream Line. Like what you said, Noreen, uh, defenders have to work double time right now. Back row, Doro. <laughs> Good dig. Valdez. Nice dig as well for Sarmiento. And Justin Doro again, back row, back to back hits for her. Lisa Sato puts it away. On a nice receive by Galanza. You can see. Defense of cream line spot on. Look at that. I mean, when we say you gotta get down when you defend, that is a perfect example. The way Gemma Galanza did it, she was really low and gave the perfect pass. Because man didn't even move. He said it. The Sato serving ace for Galanza. It is all Bulls Masters here in the second set. They're up by seven. First technical timeout, 8-1 against the defenders. Let's hear from Bernadette Pons as she talks to us about her decision moving into indoor volleyball. Hindi naging madali yung decision. Kasi namin na mag-focus muna kami sa SEA Games for the five months. Pero after that, indoor na kami. Lisa guys, third set will have you real fast. Ayong short. Awi tayo. Oh, there's... Uh... Negrito, there is Bernadette Pons right behind Pax Panaga. Bernadette Pons looks so lean coming off several seasons of playing beach volleyball. Thanks for the V quick ring, Dixon. Again, again, wait to see how high Bernadette Pons is going to jump on Dyroflex after spending, again, years playing beach volleyball. You know, it's mixed reviews. A lot of people say it's different, really. Yes, it's different. Sand and indoor. We know that's right. Players specialize. Yes. Either I'm, I'm beach or I'm indoor. But a lot of people say that the beach helps the leaping yeah. of the for indoor. So yeah, I mean it's exciting to see how <laughs> Bernadette Pons will will start using her experience from the sand. Well, finally, Shannon Palik delivers the first attack point of the defenders here in the second set. 
Their first point was an error by Gemma Galanza, and that snaps a six to nothing run by the oh. Cool Smashers, but they immediately throw away a point. Look the nation from Mea and Esquera. Which they can actually not afford at this juncture. And I, I saw as, as um, that report was being given, Bertolano back in. So they want to, you know, kind of inject some of those who started in the first set. And Ethan Arce seeing action for the first time, making an impact right away. Former Lady Fighting Maroon. They need that, you know, yeah. these these uh, contributions other than Dorog and Bertolano, you need these contributions. Uh, former Tigress Shannon Palik with a serve. Here we go, that's Ooh. the problem. 11 points now for Tox Carlos. They've got to find a way to stop Tox. I mean, easier said than done, that's, Eric. That's true. In, in game number one, she erupted with 24 points, and you're talking about a much discussed team, yeah. retooled team in a Cherry Eagle. And what a oh. serve as well. She's the entire package, Tox Carlos. She is chasing MVP number four <laughs> in, in this uh, invitation. She is the reigning. Yeah, she's a three time. Yeah, you're right. Gonna go for number four. And again, she looks, she just looks so comfortable. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that uh, answer is right back there. You go from one UP alumnus to another. You like that from Bertolano because when you look at it, two years in the UAAP, so she is very young, not much experience, obviously. But look at the way she defended that. That was a tough serve, and then she gets the set and she gets the kill. Bright future for this kid. But these service errors, second service error for the defenders. And here's Bernadette Bonds getting ready to check in. Leaner, meaner. Can she jump higher? We'll see. She's so lean. <laughs> yeah, she's so lean. Unbelievably lean. I think she's got zero fat. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Bernadette once saw action in their first game against the crossovers played in the first set, did not score. Well, of course, her fans hoping that she gets to the front. Wow, nothing going right here for the defenders as San Domingo gives them a taste of their own medicine. I think we, because it's a block that we have to find, follow the perspective that nothing going wrong on the side of Creamline. It's the biggest lead right now for the Cool Smashers. They're up by 10. Time out here for the defenders. We'll listen in. Sure, floor defenders in a whole world of trouble here in set number two. Only two attack points. They have as many, sorry, three attack points. And they have two errors. Mm -hmm. So that's been the story here. They've only managed to score, get points by themselves three times. But they've given up two points as well. Well, we can see, you know, if, if you compare the second set and the first set, better chemistry with that punch in the first set. The second set, they're still struggling to find form. But again, Coach Baraga obviously sticking to a plan, a game plan, really just, he has certain a certain group of players in mind to put in, and he's sticking with this, and he wants to make them learn and see how they can improve. We saw Kaila Chienza getting treatment on her left ankle. Ethan Asse with a serve after Justin Doro scores. But Gemma Galanza, no runs for the defenders at all. When, when, because it happened in front of us, you can see that that set wasn't actually for 
Jam had to do a broad jump. She adjusted, she made a vertical leap. Same result. That's how talented this girl has become through the years. Back to the biggest lead of the Cool Smashers. 15 serving five second set. And so this error. Two of the six points of the defenders are errors of the Cool Smashers. So that's how tough it's been for these ladies to score here in the second set. Well, they have to, for me, they have to remain positive, really. It is streamlined, you know. So, that's true. Yeah, I mean, no excuse, but you just want to push yourselves a bit more. Combination. Ooh. Yes, who's picking it up? It looked like it was outside. Pancake save by Angeles. Galanza again. Oh! Gemma! Now it's her turn to hurt the defenders in every way possible. The options of green line just limitless at this juncture. Look at that. Ten-point lead. Cool smashers against the defenders here in set number two. Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block on any device, anytime, anywhere via Filipinas Live. Download the app now and subscribe for only 99 pesos per month. Riza Mantapat seeing action for the first time today. Mantapat uh, also did not play against uh, the crossovers, that three-set win last Tuesday. <laughs> to a full house here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Well, this is a, well, because they have a 10-point lead, it may be a perfect time to actually get other players some playing time. Yeah. So you're, you're seeing these substitutions. And again, for Bernadette Pons fans, you're hoping <laughs> to see her get the hit when she gets in front. Nine-point game after a service error by Kyle Negrito. Mandapa picks it up. There's Riza, former Lady Bulldog. Perez, another former Lady Bulldog off-speed hit by Bertolano, saved by Kyle Negrito. Chance ball here for the defenders. Bertolano rejected. Perez to the middle. <laughs> and Esguera tips it. Here comes Mantapa to the left hand. Angeles sets it up for Shannon Palek. Oh, well, still alive. dig there for De Jesus, hit by Galanza. What a rally. Man, Esguera, De Jesus picking it up. Pons with the up. Mantapa from the other side. Still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Palek, oh! rally ends, off a uh, error by Shannon Palek. Yeah, running out of steam there, when the rallies get longer, I mean a lot, some players there, they want to just kill it, so they <laughs> add a little bit more up, and that went wide. Patience is key. Exactly. 17 serving seven, back to a 10-point lead here for the Cool Smashers, Bertolano. Calanza picking it up, Atienza, they go to Pons, here she is. Better that Pons rejected, one-handed dig for Atienza. There's a little push from the back row by Galanza. Palek. Oh, what a dig. Mandapat rejected, De Jesus has done great coverage. Pons with a push. Angela sets it up for Bertolano, yes! Well, that's a good rally in favor of Jair yeah. Floor defenders. Look at that, Bertolano. 
You know, and again, she's a rookie here in the PBL, just two years in the UAP, so a lot of things can happen still to this kid. Oh, nice set. Beautiful set there by the Vito Pulisa Sacco. Back to a 10-point lead for the Cool Smashers. Well, the connection, you know, the familiar connection, Negrita Sato. Sato, two points, all scored here in the second set. She did not play in opening day. What a save by Pons. <laughs> Good dig by Perez. Angeles to Bertolano. Pons picking it up. Back row, pushed by Galanza, blocked by Ethan Asse. Battle at the net, won by San oh. Domingo. There's a net touch. It's gonna be called probably on Asse. Biggest lead right now for the Cool Smashers. They're up by 11, 19 to 8. Second set, Perez, they go to Arce. What a save by Galanza. Here comes Bernadette Pons. Tartolano, blocked by San Domingo. That's the third kill block for... Well, I think they're going to credit Lisa Mandapa for that, so that's her first kill block. Yeah, yeah. It is Lisa <laughs> Mandapat. So first point for Mandapat off a kill block. Biggest lead at 12 right now for the Cool Smashers. Said Domingo keeping it alive. Almost lifted it. Mandapat hits it and scores again. Well, everyone contributing to their cause. Back to back points for Lisa Mandapat. And Rose Vargas checking in. For the first time today, she had two points on opening day. Timeout again, final one for Coach Baroga. Check What's the target now if you're the defenders? You're down by 13. Well, for me, if you're down, any team for that matter, if you're down by a huge margin, the last few points of your opponent, you're the one down, right? Make them work for it, make them earn it. Okay, so. Each point now that your opponents will get going to win the set, they have to work for it. You don't give free points. Make your stops if necessary. Of course necessary if you can. But but then it's more of play, stick, stay your ground, mm -hmm. you know, and make your opponents work for it. Four points away. Cool smashers. Ooh, one of that points. Scores are first point on the Invitational Conference via a First point. It's now a 14-point cushion for the Cool Smashers. What a shot. A floater from Bertolano. Nobody from the Cool Smashers expected that. Well, we heard in that huddle, we kept hearing Bert give it to, to, to Bert. So I think it's Eliza Bertolano. First set starter, Sven Emnas, uh, Janine Navarro, back in the game. Uh, Want to close it strong, maybe finish in double digits at yes. least. That's the goal. I mean, break 10. Break 10 first, then 15. Could serve. Bons into the net. You think she's adjusting, you know, timing and all that? I think so. Indoor from sand. I think so, but that, that should be already addressed during practice. Right now, it's also, you know, getting used to the, the court, the, yeah. the court's the situation. Vargas picking it up. Here comes Ponce again. Down the line, there is a net touch once again <laughs> against the defenders. Boy, because we're sitting beside Dreamline Bench, I heard the coaching staff just cheering 
They want they want Forks to get a kill. Yeah. There's a challenge here for Coach Baroga, that uh, net touch challenge. They're down by 12 here. Well, they still have the challenge, so why not use it? But they have bro broken in double digits, which is their short-term goal. Yeah. <laughs> right now, you want to get to 15. They scored 18 in the opening set. So it's obviously a big drop in terms of output. They only have six attack points on the 10. Yeah. But that's one thing they should learn, you know. You played a good first set. Whatever the score, 18, yeah. You played a good first set. You have to work hard also in the second set. It, it doesn't end in the first set. That first set, here in the second set, at the start, they gave cream line so much headway mm -hmm. with their bad uh, or errant passing so those are the things they have to learn you have to start play well from start to finish you see the defenders trying to stay warm Angeles Navarro jumping up and down biggest lead was 14 points for the cool smashers 14 points yep. now, now and 12. Defenders, they never tasted the lead here in the second set. In the first set, they had a two-point lead and several runs. Their biggest was a 5-1 to one run. No runs for the defenders here in the second set. Here's the challenge. On the way down, a clear touch there by Oxen. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking at Arce talking to coach and saying, I did it. Well, <laughs> well the call stays. Yep. And it was a net touch. So, the cool smashers two points away from going up two sets to nothing. 23 serving 10. It's a 13 point lead. Dorog with a pass, Fen Emnas, the back set, Bertolano is shut down, said Domingo, again, that's kill block number three. Well, she just read that really well, covering the cross court, look at that, said Domingo. Yeah, I mean, she makes it look so easy, yeah. she just knew which angle to cover, stood there, covered, you know, the two blockers, and they get the stuff blocked. 14 set points. Cool smasher. Set to me go. A little miscue there. It looked like she was about to hit it, pulled back, and miss hit it. <laughs> she already had that drop in her mind, and then she was probably overthinking it. By the time she was going to do it, it was too late. Carmina Aganon Tigal, a former Lady Bulldog, is in the game for the first time. She's coming back to volleyball after a three-year break. Oh, wow. As a mom. Wait a minute. Oh, is that a... A... <laughs> an error by the first referee blowing the whistle? Uh, our first referee, Daniel Palada. Oh, wow. Set point. Streamline. Fenemnas. A well, combination play with Digal. Pons with a push. Fed Emnas picking it up. Mina Digal once again rejected again. Boy, said Domingo has been reading the uh, offense of the defenders so well. Bernadette Pons! Kill by an attack and her second point in the PBL Invitational Conference. Can we say right now, welcome to the PBL? Uh, Bernadette Pons. The former Lady Takara. You mentioned it to me, they've been waiting for that kill. They, <laughs> they finally got it, and that delivered a two set to nothing advantage. Cool smashers against the defenders.
Okay, new streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Download and subscribe now. I mean, there are a lot of platforms you can enjoy PVL, so take advantage, take full, full advantage of that. But we'll appreciate your company here in the Invitational Conference of the PVL Creamline Cool Smashers versus Chair Floor Defenders. And in the second set, it was a landslide. Onslaught by Creamline. I mean, everything working well. They're able to even empty a bit, you know, their bench a bit, giving playing time to a lot of the players, such as Mandapat. Even Fawns got to the front. We saw Rosemary Vargas. So, Creamline just playing well. But again, we focus on Jer Floor defenders. After a great showing in the first set, in the second set, they started out really flat. Just couldn't get their first ball going. And they couldn't, you know, step on the gas after that. It was all Creamline. One thing they have to learn coming into the third set. Just a bit of numbers, Eric. We can look at the attack. Still, the way it went Creamline's way, 10 to 6, blocking defense. Celine Domingo, Bernadette Pons with all those stuff blocks, six aces. When we talked about the start of the, the second set, wherein Creamline was just serving well, six aces that happened towards, I mean, at the start of the set, and Creamline never looked back. And to put it in perspective, attack point six for the defenders, errors five. So that's so, just one. Yeah, they only <laughs> outscored themselves by one if you count this, the points they gave up to the Cool Smashers. Uh, it's now or never for the defenders. Uh, this third set, their starters include Rap Rap Aguilar, Andrea Marzan, Eliza Bertolano, Fen Emnas, Justin Dorog, and Rania Musa. Uh, meantime, a little shake up as well in the starting lineup here in the third set for Coach Sherwin Meneses. Rose Vargas and Pang Spanaga are part of the six, uh, along with De Guzman, Galanza, De Jesus, and Tots Carlos, who has 12 points already. The only player in double digits. Well, I'm looking at the bench of Jerko. I, I feel everyone has played here in this yeah. match. They're really looking for a combination that will work. Galanza. Oh! Jenna Galanza, second attempt in that rally. What a shot. What a shot. She just makes it look so easy. Look at that. One, a one-on-one -on, -one on Gemma Galanza. I was going to say before that hit that, I mean, for Jer Floor fans, you're happy that Marzan is back in. Yeah. You, you saw Musa earlier. They showed good blocking in set number one. Bang Spanaga with her first point, coming off a five-point performance against the crossovers last Tuesday. She didn't start today. Yeah, she did. I mean, she just started here in the third set, but instant offense on the side of Pan Pans Panag Panaga. You know that she had the good one's going to go to oh, her. Definitely. <laughs> and just like set number two, they're starting off pretty strong here. The cool Smashers, they're up 2-0 right away. Rose Vargas fires a missile in down the line. 3-0 start for the cool Smashers. Let's check in with Rain Dixon. The last time we saw Justin Doro play was in the 2022 Invitational Conference with Cherry Tigo crossovers. Now she's in a very interesting position because she is serving as the team captain of the Jerflor Defenders, but she has also taken up a new role as an assistant coach for two high school teams. Now she told me that this coaching position is a nice opportunity for growth for her as it allowed her to see the game in a different perspective, giving her a broader, deeper understanding of the sport. And it also helped her maturity as she is now a role model for the kids she's coaching. She said that this motivated her to return and now she is playing for a greater purpose. And this is one of the things that she always focused on because she always had the hope of inspiring the next generation and she took it to the next level by entering coaching at such a young age. So let's go back to enjoying this match which you can experience better through the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now back to you Eric and Noreen. Thank you, Rain. Great report. Uh, so many things on her plate. Justin Dorg, very impressive youth um, model for volleyball fans and just youth in general in the Philippines. Yeah. And again, we know like 
us in particular, we know her journey, you know, just in Dorog. So we're happy right now that she gets to play. She gets to lead a team and because, you know, she really deserves it. That is outside for Tox Carlos, a rare miscue. But wait a minute, it was on the line. So Tox Carlos continues her scoring barrage in this game. They actually call a net violation on Jer Flora. I, I think that did go out, but it was a net violation. Sorry, wasted opportunity. That's why she only has 12 points. For now, Tots Carlos, one-handed set there. Justin Dorog saving it. 4-1, cool smashers oh. make it 5-1. Set the lead up. Using her speed really there to her advantage. Marzan was there. You know Marzan's a great blocker, top blocker, but look at this. Look at that connection, that B quick. The blocker's not able to establish. That's how you actually counter good blocking you make it quick you change it sometimes a quick sometimes b quick so yeah. you know at that time great setting service error for pang spanaga will sit down and here comes Ena de jesus only one block for the defenders and that came way back in the opening set well they have to work on their defense obviously all right there's the 13th quarter I mean, you love the way Creamline actually develops their players. You can see Vargas from her college. Yeah. She had a knee injury, but look at her now. I mean, testament to their, their program. Justin Dorog with an off-speed hit. Five points for Justin Dorog. She and Marsan have ten together. Yep, smart hit there. Justin Dorog again can never say enough about this kid. Three serving six. Good serve. The Guzman sets it up. Here's Vargas. We just talked about her. She's leaner now as yeah. well. Really looking good. De Jesus with a pass. Vargas once again. Yes! <laughs> I mean, they're just ready. Because Gia De Guzman just knows how to distribute the ball really well. All the players just ready you know, to contribute. 7 serving 3 cream line third set they're up two sets to nothing what a serve and Bertolano struggling with the reception today the Guzman no combination play with Galanza good block Galanza again a nice pass by Sarmiento oh, it's a little too high for Hania Musa another miscue here for the defenders that makes it a 5 First technical timeout, 8-3, cream line over Jerflor, third set. A strong early start here for the Cool Smashers in the third set. They're up by five. Vargas serving 8-3 to the Jerf Floor defenders. Good pass by Sarmiento. Rania Musa attacking. De Guzman goes to the running attack with Seth Domingo. Good cover. Tots Carlos back row. It doesn't matter where she is. You get a problem for her. And, uh, the bleachers and still score. <laughs> Set. She was on near the attack line. 
between zone one and two, and she had to adjust moving into the middle of the court, yeah. and she still gets that in. Biggest lead at six points for the Cool Smashers here in the third set, Justin Doro. Yes! Oh, she's still fighting. You know, that's what you like to see from your captain. Mm -hmm. Never say die attitude. Took up sports science in the University of the Philippines, Justin Dorog, with six points already. Two coming here in set number three. Good pass. Oh, oh another gosh. easy put away. Set to Mite is on automatic right now. Seven points. When, when you look at set, how tall is set? I want to know how tall is set. 5'10. 5'10. She's not the tallest of middle blockers, but the way she's playing, it's like she's six. <laughs> six two at least. <laughs> Seriously. Fed Emnas goes to Rap Rap Aguilar. Uh, nice dig by Vargas. Here comes Galanza. And Gemma as well is on automatic right now. Nine points. And, and we did mention in the first set. Very slow, you know, at the towards the end. She only had one, two points, but now she has nine. Only two points in the first set. Right? For Galanza. And, and that was towards the end. Uh, yeah. she had, uh... And she had five in the second set. <laughs> yeah. Service error for Set Domingo. That is the first one for her. Set Domingo so efficient today. Four attacks, three kill blocks, one service ace. All the parts and, and we have it doesn't even show the deflections, the intimidation factor <laughs> when she's in front. She is very intimidating. Ooh, that was an overpass. And did you see that? that Little twist of the head. Twist. Only Gia de Guzman can pull off shots like that as Lori Bernardo checks back in. And again, the way, I mean, because she doesn't do it so often, we always say yeah. that. Awesome. She, she really catches her opponent's by surprise. Seven-point cushion for the Cool Smashers, 12 serving five. Nice serve nice as well, serve. overpass, and an easy duck for Galanza. Galanza now in double digits with 10. Well, you can see what, what we see after this match. Because everyone else we saw can actually score, so they have to stress on their first pass. Again, Bertolano struggling with the reception with the first ball. Rap Rap Aguilar sends it over. Jeva saved by Barzan. Chance ball for the Cool Smashers. And Spanaga. Good deflection by the defense of the Cool Smashers and Rap Rap Aguilar will score her first point. Well, she will take it. You know, not the strongest of hits, but the end justifies the <laughs> Rap Rap Aguilar from Cebu Southwestern University. Here's uh, the answer, or some answers from our PVL asks, which player will make the most dicks in today's game? Hashtag PVL 2023. Sarmiento, that's the matchup right now uh, because of the results. And Sarmiento with plus two on yeah. the excellent digs department. But Carlos is playing like a libero <laughs> with five digs. He mentioned she, she does it all for this team. Yeah. Aguilar picked up by De Jesus. A little one two play there. The unconventional way for De Guzman. Bertolano down the line. De Jesus, De Guzman back to Vargas. Emnas, Aguilar, off speed. Wow, what a dig there for Vargas. And Rap Rap Aguilar with their second point. Good effort, though, on the side of Creamline. But then you can see, yeah, with all those tips by Rap Aguilar, you just need to try to read your opponent's defense. It doesn't have to be all strong hits. It can change things up. And Bernadette points, checks back in. Has two points, all scored in the second set. Seven serving 14. Oh, good serve. What a set. Lori <laughs> Bernardo, nobody expected that to go back where it came from. What a set by the 
this match. No, it started with this. What a serve by Rafa Aguilar. That's true. What a, what a first pass by Bernadette Pons. <laughs> Everything is what a, what a great set, what a great hit by Bernadette. Everybody played well. <laughs> Even Rap Aguilar. Fenemnas, nice set for Marzan. Bernardo again, blocked this time by Marzan. Pons sending it over. Dorob, Pons with a dig. Vargas. Through the double block, Fen Emna sends it back to Dorog with a left hand. Rejected. Justin Dorog again with a push. Bons, <laughs> a good rally. Chance ball here. Where does Fen Emna's go? Combination play. Bill Colado knocks it in. See, that's what we're talking about. We know what these players can do from Jer Floor. Combination play, Bertolano making her presence felt. Look at that. These are the things we're going to look for in future games from Jer Floor defenders. Bernardo against a single blocker. <laughs> from UP to UP, to UP once again. Different generations though. Different eras. 16-8, Pool Smashers up over the defenders. Set number three. Welcome back to the PVL. Let's take a break from all this volleyball action as we see a video from the birthday girl herself. This is a video of Eliza doing her usual warm-ups and exercises. A few years ago, this would be a normal video of her, but this is extra special this time around because in this video, we can see the fruit of all her hard work and rehab the Phenom had to go through after the longest hiatus she's experienced in her career, which lasted seven months. So, of course, we welcome back Atalai and we wish her all the best. Thanks, Rain. Turning 30 today, Eliza Maldez, this is going to be a great birthday gift. A three-set win here today. Uh, tipped by Bertolano, dug by Pons. Bernardo with a left hand. Back row, Rafa Rap Aguilar into the net. That's four touches against the defenders. No, Eric, I just want to say how, how fast 3D time flies. Wasn't it just yesterday yeah. we saw her as a rookie in the UAAB? Called her the feed up. Right? Well, we still call her the feed up, but yeah. 30 I mean, years, man. 30 years. You, all of a sudden, you're making <laughs> everyone feel old. I, I feel <laughs> old. <laughs> Rania Musa with the push. And Vargas. Sarmiento leaping dig. Good save. Oh, oh. Fred Emnas with a little help from the net cord. Vargas again. Oh! Despite losing weight, becoming leaner, he hasn't lost any yeah. of that power. Rose Vargas makes it a 10 point lead for the Cool Smashers. She, every time she hits, she has a whole clan she, behind her. <laughs> <laughs> Vargas with three points, all scored here in the third set. Combination play, single lady block, Negrito against Doro. Doro tries again against a two lady block, this time still stuck. Oh! Oh, that went over the net, Vargas uh, mistimed it. So point for the defenders. You gotta give credit to the coverage of Jer Floor. I mean, good defense on the side of green line, but they kept the ball alive, kept the ball in play, and finally they get the point. Bertolano, Eliza with five, almost a foot fall. Yeah. Said Domingo, Bertolano picking it up. Rania Musa rejected by Vargas. Ferenas faked an attack, sent it to Doro, rejected. Angeles will set it back to Justin. And it's wide on the down the line attempt. Of the floor. Uh, double substitution for the defenders as Ivy 
Frankie Perez and Janine Navarro check back in. More height on Nav the side of Roger Clark. Navarro, so active in the first set, scored three points, but she has not scored a point since. Did Bad she play pass. in set number two? I uh, didn't see her. Yeah. Get action on the floor. Bonds. <laughs> Looked like a mystic, but still went in. Just enough power to get to the corner of Jair Flores court. Look at that. Great placement shot. A timeout here for Coach Baroga, his final one, it seems. We'll listen in. Abulin nyo pa rin ang abulin. Magplay ka, ano? Ah, IB. It's like deja vu for the defenders. They were in the same position in the second set. Still unable to make double digits at this point in the previous set. Let's see if they can make it. Rose Vargas with four points, all scored in the third set. Nice pass by Sarmiento. Navarro with the push. Oh, turned away. Even Kyle Nevita getting into the blocking act. Everybody, and I mean absolutely everyone, is contributing to Cream Line score. Negrito did not score against the crossovers. That's her first point in the Invitational Conference. It's an 11 point lead for the Cool Smashers. And they get a chance ball here. Kyle goes back to San Domingo. 12 point lead. Same, same outcome, different yeah. players. I mean, it's uh, Negrito and Domingo. And Coach Baroga brings back. Mina Agaron Digal. She saw action in the second set. And, and you did mention she, she actually is a mother already. Yep. Serve is out. Sorry. So an easy point for the defenders. Let's go to the finals here today. Good serve, good pass. Oh, nice adjustment in midair. And that push is wide for Rania Musa. Defenders fall to Mark. Well, the Gates can't seem to find that fight that they had or they displayed in set number one. Again, back to the drawing board for Jer Floor. Good serve. Good serve. But a nice reception by Digal. Digal is rejected. Doro from the back row. Said Domingo with a nice receive. And he missed you there. Um, who was it for? Either Panaga or Bernardo. But it was in between the two. Yeah. Well, at this point of the match, although I'm sure Coach Irwin would not like to see that, yeah. they can pretty much afford... A few errors. Two points away from winning the match. Uh, cool Smashers. There's a block by Marzan. Six points now for Marzan. Her first kill block. Yeah, and mark my words, Eric. Look at this front row of Marzan, yeah. Navarro, and Degal. Yeah. If they can develop that, that's going to be a very formidable front. That's true. A block against Pons, if that's any indication. But Bones gets through on the second attempt down the line. And it's 12 match points for the Cool Smashers. Unfazed. Bernard yeah. Bones unfazed by the earlier block. Just great set blockers now slow to close. But you're right. Match point. Three points for Bones. Kyle Negrito serving. She has one point off a kill block. Bad pass. 
Underhand set, Negrito, and they can finish it off right here. Bernardo, oh. what a day for Sarmiento. Digal, rejected, Digal picks it back up. Navarro, oh, it's the defense of the post matches. Gives them the W. Three set wins against these upstarts. Showed us again, and we have to say, do we can see the uh, the great birthday greeting for Eliza Valdez? And they had, they had a great start, which shows what they can do, their potential, but they just need to learn more from this game. Happy birthday again, Eliza Valdez turns 30 today, and uh, what a fitting gift this one is a three set win, and they have not dropped the set. These cool smashers. Three set win against the crossovers and a three set win here again today against the Jerf Floor defenders who are playing in their first game in the Invitational Conference. So, just like the Farm Fresh Foxies, these two teams have dropped their first game. But, you know, I mean, we've experienced so many new teams, but, and, and they will learn in time. Relive this game and all PBL games and stories anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. No, yeah, I mean, I was saying, new teams, when they come, there really is going to be a learning curve for them. But then just stay positive. It is a three-set win for the Cool Smashers. The defending champions are off to a good start in the Invitational Conference, taking down their second victim, uh, Jer Floor Defenders. Uh, best player, Tots Carlos, right now with Rain Tixon. Yes, we have a very familiar face here. Our player of the game, Tots Carlos. Tots, you scored 15 points, but your defense was phenomenal. It was very spot on in this game. Was this something that you worked on during the offseason? Um, syempre, uh, yun nga, uh, syempre, uh, we prepare every day. So, lahat ng skills talaga, kinocover nila coach. So, meron talaga days for blocking, spiking, and defense. So, every every day, I just really try to give my best and um, play uh, as hard as I can, as smart as I can, and really just uh, help the team. Thoughts you played a team na nag-debut pa lang today. So medyo mahirap mag-scout kasi wala tayong pinanggagalingan. Thoughts, how, how does Creamline manage this? And can you tell me about the preparation of the team itself? Um, so yun nga, bagong team. So we don't have any clues about the team pa kung ano yung defense pattern, kung ano yung mga atake. So yun talaga yung uh, tinignan namin nung first set. So yun, nakita nyo naman, medyo dikit yung... Um, scores no first set kasi tinitingnan din namin kung ano yung mga mangyayari and yun uh, from there nag-adjust yung team and yun and we're really happy na lahat nakalaro today ngayon meron ka bang message sa mga fans meron ka rin bang message kay Ate Lai na nagse-celebrate ng birthday niya ngayon ah, but my best speech no lang hello up uh, happy birthday happy happy birthday Ate Lai uh, thank you for all the guidance and for all the support that you're giving the team and really we're really grateful for you and we hope to enjoy your day and hi to my family sa lahat po ng sumusuporta sa Creamline sa Rebisco teams 
Huwag po kayo aalis. Uh, tapusin po natin lahat ng games, lahat ng sumusuporta sa cream line. Maraming maraming salamat po. Hi kay Tom's, hi Tom's and family, Max and Mandy. Uh, hello sa mga boss namin, JC and Sir Alan. Sa lahat po ng bubuo ng Rebisco team, maraming maraming salamat po. Alright, that was our player of the game, Tots Carlos. Thank you, Rain. Congratulations, Tots Carlos. Uh, she's so good that a 15-point performance you feel is a letdown. After a 20-point, 24-point uh, performance, uh, but 68% efficiency today, much better than the 55 last Tuesday. Oh well, yeah, we did talk about the 55 and it was already crazy. What about 68.42 <laughs> efficiency rate? I mean, that's how good this uh, this girl is and really just so a bright future ahead but yeah m you know everybody played we heard it from thoughts she's happy everybody got to play everyone was given a touch or a set or what what not and everyone contributed just goes to show cream line and how well they adjust to game situations and how prepared they are this conference and jair floor they well welcome to the bbl you know your debut it is hard because you're going against the defending champion, but you just have to stay positive and learn from this game and look to the future games. Yeah, and some numbers. In terms of attacks, you can see dominant performance in terms in the, for Cream Line, 45 to 25, that's 20 point disparity for you. Blocking went their way by six, even the aces. And cream line, I think they really worked on their errors. I mean, 11 yeah. errors in three sets, that's a, that's a huge leap. Usually a 20-plus exactly. uh, error team, but uh, much better performance today. Two players in double digits for the Cool Smashers. 15 for Carlos, 10 for Galanza, 6 and 6 for Marzan, and uh, Toro for the Defenders. Thanks to our director, Al Neri, for Rain Tixon, uh, my partner, Noreen Go, I'm Eric Tiban. Coming up next, Farm Fresh Foxies looking for their first win after losing to the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers in the first game. They take on the Chocobucho Five Titans playing in their first game in the Invitational Conference. That game coming up in about 40 minutes' time.